This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up. Hi there, I'm Kaylee O'Kelly with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. The Department of Health Services releasing Monday's coronavirus figures. Our state reporting 435 new positive cases. And it's the first time in several days that cases have fallen below 1,000. There is some good news here, if we can call it that. The state is not reporting an additional death tied to COVID-19. A glimmer of hope. We are seeing more kids return home for remote learning right now. This week, several schools reverting back to online teaching and learning. Tomorrow, Madison School District in North Central Phoenix will discuss a possible closure for remote learning as well. Parents getting a letter that a vote is going to happen with the governing board. The district is in the yellow and it is in the moderate range for spread. Tourism in our state still struggling. It should be a busy time of year for Arizona, but that's not the case. Last year, tourism generated close to $4 billion in tax revenue for Arizona, supporting hundreds of thousands of jobs. And now a lot of those employees are still out of work. The Arizona Restaurant Association says 1,200 restaurants have closed statewide. 40% of workers do remain jobless. What we are trying to do now, especially as we go into the holiday season, is how can we expand our real estate outside, uh, going into patios. We've got tents going up uh, across the valley uh, into patios, into parking lots, and, and trying to get it there. Hotels are hurting, too. The most recent data from the state shows in September, occupancy was down more than 20%. Governor Ducey's office setting aside $7 million through the CARES Act to help small businesses in the hospitality industry that have been hurt. Well, as you grocery shop this week, keep in mind there are limits on items again. Kroger, the parent company of fries, has placed a limit on uh, of two on toilet paper, paper towels, those disinfectant wipes, and hand soap. Costco also limiting the amount of toilet paper you can purchase. And when we checked online, the Kirkland brand was sold out. There are a few Arizona races that have not yet been called. One of them, Maricopa County recorder. The Republican challenger, Stephen Ricker, is back in the lead ahead of incumbent Adrian Fontes by fewer than 2,000 votes. For county attorney, Alistair Adell, expanding her lead over her challenger, that's J Democrat Julie Gunnickel, behind by around 35,000 votes. And finally, Maricopa County Board of Supervisors, Jevin Hodge, with just over a 1,000 vote lead over Jack Sellers. And if he wins the election, Hodge would be the first black supervisor in the county. The ballot count continues. Maricopa County Elections Department is saying it has more than 18,000 early ballots left to process and tabulate, and we will get you more on those results after 7 o'clock tonight. Be careful on the roads. ADOT sharing video from I-40. We know that snow plow crews have been working tirelessly to keep the roads clear. Overnight, I-17 did close at State Route 179. That's near Lake Montezuma, all because of winter weather conditions. And it is starting to look a lot like Christmas. It looks like the holiday season is officially underway. This is Zoo Lights back in action. The millions of twinkling lights are up and around the Phoenix Zoo. And this year you can drive through for $75 a car. And you can also still walk through. That's for $20 a person. Those lights will be up through the end of January. You can also check out World of Illumination. It's a drive through location there at Westgate. That one's open now. The one at Tempe Diablo Stadium opens tomorrow and tickets start at $29. I want to show you Play-Doh. It is set to launch a new line of their famous Play-Doh for adults featuring grown-up scents like Overpriced Latte and Spa Day. It does get a little weirder. There are some original aromas as well, like mom jeans. Okay. They smell like freshly washed denim, thankfully. Dad sneakers. That one, thankfully, just gives off the scent of new shoes. The grown-up goo will soon be available on Amazon and at Walmart. Time now for your most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. There's still a chance for showers over the higher terrain to our north and east as we go through the day today. For the valley, a slight chance for rain early this morning, and then we'll clear out those rain chances, leaving behind mostly clear conditions and cooler temperatures as we head into this afternoon. Today, a high of just 63 degrees for Phoenix, so it's going to be a cooler day overall. Highs will reach the mid-70s in Prescott and Payson and Sedona, only into the mid-30s in spots like Flagstaff. That puts us right near freezing through the day today. So it's not going to warm up much in the high country. And again, there's still that snow on the ground from the overnight snow showers. So be cautious if you're traveling up in the high country. Then overnight tonight, these are overnight lows down into the 30s and 40s in central Arizona, including right here in the valley. A few valley cities could cool into the 30s by tomorrow morning. And then we're talking some single digits and teens by tomorrow morning across the high country. Highs in the 60s in the valley through Tuesday, then 70s after that near normal by next Sunday. 
And we have another update for you tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com or by downloading our free mobile app. Make it a great day. This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up.